basketball court at the corner of Faber's Road and Central American Boulevard was empty today. But on Sunday, it was full of ballers and observers who saw when one gunman walked through the gate and shot Marlon Bonner. Sometime around 4 p.m. on yesterday's date, police were called to the basketball court at the corner of Faber's Road and uh, Central American Boulevard, where upon arrival, the lifeless body of one Marlon Bonner was seen. He was transported to the KHMH and uh, he was pronounced dead on arrival by the doctors at that institution. What we have gathered so far is that um, Mr. Bonner was playing basketball on the basketball court as he normally does every Sunday when a gunman came and uh, approached him and fired shots at him, which resulted in his um, demise. This spot of blood remains to show where Bonner fell, shot in the head, chest, and back. The area around the basketball court is a hotspot for violence and death, primarily gang-related, but police say that Bonner wasn't affiliated with any gangs. At this time, we have not been able to determine a motive, and I must state that from our investigation and from what we know, Mr. Banna is not a member or is not affiliated with any gang. So um, I do not want anyone to be out there saying that um, he is affiliated with any gang and it is gang related. We do not think it is gang related. So we're investigating to see if there is, if we can arrive at a motive as to what may have led to that unfortunate incident yesterday. Unfortunate but brazen and bold. The gunman who walked onto the crowded compound was not masked, so identification won't be a problem. But witnesses willing to talk will be. Like is customary, we know who the gunman is. And um, the difficulty that we always encounter is people who witness these incidents and are reluctant to give statements. That is our difficulty that where we are at this time. Our investigation will continue. We'll try our utmost best to see if we can get statements from people who are around so that we will be able to institute criminal charges for murder against the gunman. So yes, the information that you have obtained is what we have also gathered. And we are looking for that individual who has been described to us as the gunman. Police say one person stood watch down the street while the gunman entered the court. Bonner's family declined comment today as they struggled to come to terms with the unexpected death of a loved one. Mike Rodon for News 5.